Former Redlands East Valley baseball standout and current major leaguer Tyler Chatwood enjoyed a homecoming Wednesday afternoon, making an appearance at the Wildcats baseball camp. The Angels traded the former Rev star to the Colorado Rockies this offseason. Most of his records were here at home plate. Now the beauty of what happened just a few weeks ago is that he got traded to the Colorado Rockies, so we get to see him actually do a little bit of work here at the plate. While Chatwood reached the big leagues as a pitcher, he holds several batting records at Rev, including the most hits, doubles, triples, and highest batting average in a season. Chatwood's familiar number three will now hang on the fence at Rev as the Wildcats retired his jersey. Well, Redlands East Valley High School hosting their annual baseball camp and this year very special because they retired the number three jersey of this guy right here, Tyler Chatwood. Tyler, what's it like to stand back here and look at the outfield fence and see your name and your number here uh, here at Rev? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty special, you know, playing four years here and just having to be honored here to have my number retired. It's a pretty special feeling. Come back here and uh, you see all these kids swarming around wanting your autograph and you know talk about your big league experience. Uh, is, it, is it a little bit surreal to come back? Maybe you did that yourself as a kid. Oh yeah, it's definitely surreal, but you know, it kind of reminds you of your childhood. You just always wanted autographs and I wasn't the shy kid. I was always at the front of the line trying to get it. So it's pretty special. It's fun too. Now you were drafted in 08 by the Angels. You made your way through the system, made your big league debut this past year with the Halos. What was that experience like, being able to play for essentially our hometown team, the, the LA Angels of Anaheim? Yeah, I mean, it was very special. You know, every every start I had, my family was there. They got to come watch me at home. So, and then just growing up, always watching them actually getting to play in that stadium, it's a pretty special feeling. Now you go to uh, the Rockies. You were traded this past offseason, uh, late November. Maybe we'll see you on the mound at uh, Chavez Ravine taking on the Dodgers now, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. We were, uh, got the pitcher this year. Hopefully get some more chances this year again. Uh, what are your thoughts moving over to the National League? Uh, your coach, Cordes, here at, at Rev said uh, you were quite the hitter here for the Wildcats. <laughs> what are your thoughts going to the National and getting a chance to swing the bat a little bit? Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a different experience getting to hit every game, just be part of the game. But, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. you got to start taking BP and everything. Has good. it been a while? I haven't taken BP. Last year during interleague was the first time I took BP <laughs> since I graduated high school. Well, take us back through your first year in the big leagues. Uh, you know, what was it like just being able to share the clubhouse with some big names and going to these different stadiums across the country? I mean, the, the whole season, and can you kind of put it in a nutshell, a snapshot of what it was like for you? Uh, amazing. Just be able to be in the same locker room as uh, all those players with the Angels and traveling around, going to all the new stadiums that you watch on TV since you're growing up was pretty neat and special. Was there a particular uh, stadium or particular uh, opposing player maybe that you got to meet that it was kind of a, maybe an idol or someone you look, looked up to as you made your way through here at Rev? Um, yeah, I mean, getting to play with Jared Weaver, one of the best pitchers in the game right now, was pretty special. Uh, just being able to pitch against Derek Jeter, that was my favorite player growing up. That was pretty neat too. So definitely a lot of memories I'll have from this year and it'll be fun. Did you ever catch yourself on the mound saying, oh my gosh, I'm facing Derek Jeter right now, or that's, uh, you know, so-and-so at the play. Was it ever, you know, did it ever catch you off guard or did you felt like, you know, I'm supposed to be here, I've got a job to do and everything just, you know, pretty much felt normal for uh, you? I think definitely early on in the year, like, holy cow, I'm pitching against the Boston Red Sox tonight. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But, I mean, as the season goes on, you get a little more comfortable and kind of used to the atmosphere and stuff and just realize you got to go out there and make your pitches, and it's about getting out.